In today's music lesson, I'm going to talk about the current definition of the word composer. Of course, composer refers to anyone who writes original music, but the definition has been expanded since the advent of recording technology. When a new piece of music is recorded, two different copyrights are created, the recording and the underlying composition. In the United States and most of the world, the composer of the underlying music will always be the composer, regardless of the buying, selling, or licensing of the copyrights. The composer remains constant, no matter how many new versions of the underlying piece are created, the original composer doesn't change. Personally, I love Joe Cocker's version of With a Little Help from My Friends, and so did John Lennon and Paul McCartney. However, they still are and will always be the composers of that song. So, let's look at another example, the Halo theme. Here is the first public recording and published version of the Halo theme music. Here is how it is currently registered with ASCAP, the American Society of Composers, Authors, and Publishers, after being purchased by Microsoft. Listen to this part. Here is another representation of the underlying music. Now, listen to this part. another representation of the underlying music. In all these examples, the composers remain the same. Oh, and by the way, according to copyright law, a composer can only be an individual human being. A corporation is prohibited from being considered or listed as a composer. Okay, now it's time for a quiz. See if you can correctly identify the composer or composers of the following two examples.
If you answered Martin M. O'Donnell and Michael C. Salvatore, not only are you correct, but you're smarter than some people who work for some really big corporations. Cheers, and stay tuned for another music lesson coming soon.